Terrorism is not only a very real threat abroad, but also right here at home. Anyone can become a victim of terrorism, anytime, anywhere. John Elway lending his voice, helping us recognize eight signs of terrorism. Together, we can change this. At the Counterterrorism Education Lab, or CELL, police and transportation drivers who were on the road for 10-hour shifts were honored for completing training to help make Denver streets safer. Keeps you alert to key things to watch for. Like many getting certificates. Congratulations and thank you again. These drivers are helping police by seeing something, then saying something, which is what Blair did when he saw a driver going the wrong way on the highway. I had to call last summer a uh, person leaving the DIA on the wrong side at doing 120 mile against head, uh, head on traffic and actually had a head on collision. In fact, just 24 hours after the TOPS program rolled out, a cabbie saw this deadly hit and run on Lincoln. Following the driver and leading police to a suspect, the driver confessed to his crime and is now in jail. And in the world in which we live today, it is critically important that every one of us, whether we are driving or operating a, a vehicle on a professional duty or walking down the street, that to the point when we see something, we say something. It's no longer about just taxis on patrol, now it's about transportation drivers being on patrol fighting crime and potential terrorism. If we see someone dropping a backpack, if we see someone taking pictures of security cameras, we also need to call that type of suspicious behavior in as well because we face real threats here uh, in this country. Drivers helping with the Community Awareness Safety Program. At the cell, John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.